So in this episode we do a drone fly of Elephant Rocks in Western Australia, then head to Valley of the Giants, treetops, and then down to Augusta. Yeah, so here we are, Elephant Rock, beautiful, beautiful area. One of the unique areas along the coast, I believe. There's green pool over the back, you can see it just over that little hill, um, the walkway to it. And um, yeah, so here's a... While I was doing the fly, there was a family there with the kids, totally interested in seeing how this drone works. The rock you see to the right there, the dark rock, is where you come out if you'd walk down the gantry like in the previous episode. When I first arrived there were three girls swimming in the um, water here, too cold for me so I waited until they'd finished their swim and then did the fly. And such a beautiful coastline too. So this area to the right is what they call green pool, good area for swimming. couple of fellow travelers up there on the rock you can see the the size of these rocks I could imagine myself jumping off there in summer such a peaceful safe place to to go and have a swim where you see those two people on the rock is one of the best places from the ground to view the rocks that look like elephants I couldn't get over how crystal clear the water was in in the bottom part of WA. The two rocks in the middle there are the rocks that look like elephants. This is one place I would have loved to have stayed overnight at, but if they had signs in the car park, no camping overnight. So that concludes our 
drone fly of Elephant Rock and Green Pool and now we head to the Valley of the Giants treetop walk. Beautiful roads and beautiful countryside to drive through on our way to the Valley of the Giants treetop walks. So here we are at the gates of the Valley of the Giants treetop walk. So there are two parts to the Valley of the Giants treetop walks. There's one where you follow the path to the left, which is a free walk. You get to walk around the trees in between them. Um, as you know, I'm scared of heights, so the treetop walk wasn't for me, but for other people, yeah. They paid, and and it's a quite a unique structure and nice walk, but yeah, on the day I just couldn't conjure up the, the guts to do the walk. Yeah, why well you can walk through the middle of them, they've had fires and burn out the middle of the, the tree, so you're able to walk through. To me this knot in the tree looks like a box of dogs, nose and mouth. So you get to understand the size of this tree. I set the camera up and go for a, a walk through it. So where we've just walked around takes about 15-20 minutes to have a look and this is the end of the, the tour. You come through here and you can go view from the other side of the hallway the treetop walks off to the right there. It goes up slowly then starts to incline. They would have let me get pay and go on then if I didn't walk, get across it they would have reimbursed me but I knew I couldn't make it on the day. So we had a look in their gift shop and that was our tour to the Valley of the Giants treetop walks. A, a, a really enjoyable place to visit. Every now and then Jack comes for a look to see what's going on and then goes back and has a sleep. So now we're heading to Augusta and there's a couple of places we pull into along the way. Um, one is this area, National Park, you can look over the, the lake, quite beautiful. And then this little beautiful town, Warp Hope. Um, yeah, nice little place to stay and have a, have a coffee and a rest. We still had good roads through this section but we are going through like I think a state forest and um, these trees right on the edge of the road and not very wide road but still great drive, interesting and yeah, stayed alive. From about 100 k's out of um, Augusta um, it was unique, you had either burning off the wineries, the you know avocado farms it's a real big growing area for the region I, I 
don't normally drive at night in these country areas, but I just slowed it down and um, made my way into Augusta for the night. So I wake up early for a beautiful sunrise and um, found this unique little place on the waterfront. A couple of jetties and wharves to walk out on, but yeah, you can't really see it here because it's early morning, but it's the same thing, crystal clear water. And of course, Jack's favourite time to play in the water. He loves it. <laughs> he just, yeah, he's not great at swimming at the moment, well, back then, but he um, loves playing in the shallow water and biting the waves and chasing the seaweed and chasing a stick and a ball. But yeah, he has a ball when he's off the lead and can actually run free and play in the water. When I'm on tour with customers, I don't take Jack along with me. He stays with a couple of mates that have dogs and the dogs are friends of his. So yeah, he has a ball being at their house. So after the sunrise we go have a bit of a look around at the local marina, they've got a lighthouse there and then stop at another place and go for a swim on this beautiful coast. So then we head back into town and I send the drone up to give you a look at this unique little town as you can see there that's not sand that is just seaweed off top yeah masses of amount of seaweed this time of the year So where we were this morning is just right there to the little bit to the right in the centre, a little cove at the other end is where we were for the sunrise this morning. So then we move further into town, I'm along the edge of the river and do a drone fly. Yeah, next time I'll go fishing off the end of this jetty. So what you're looking at here is the inlet to um, the river to Augusta. While flying the drone all my senses are heightened. Um, my hearing to hear where the drone is, sight to see where it is, the monitor to look at and also making sure no one's around me when I'm bringing the drone in for their own safety. So we leave Augusta and head for Margaret River. Um, I take the scenic road instead of the main road. Um, if you like this video, please hit the subscribe button or the like, and we'll see you on the next episode. Thank you for watching. Mom.